I love you. Do you have anything you would like to sing to me before we go any further? Uh, how amazing was that? <laughs> My God. That was fun. So and by the way, I want to thank you because uh, originally, you were booked uh, as the lead guest in the show, and you were very courteous to slide over for Howard. So I mean, I appreciate you know, that. he proposed. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know about that? No, oh my he God. boarded his so, wife, by the way. <laughs> so great. You uh, just got back. I love this thing you do, and you do it every time you have something big going on. You yeah. go to your hometown, yeah. Boise, Idaho, yeah. and you have a screening, a premiere of, in this case, the movie, mm -hmm. and you do a scavenger hunt. And it's on Twitter. Yeah. And you give people clues. It's chaos. Explain how it works exactly. I mean, it is an utter <laughs> show. Uh, yeah. There's uh, no, no lawyers uh, approve this, correct? No, 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 yes. no. I just, you know, I go, I love going back to my uh, home state of Idaho and just try to, you know, give back to the community there. And I rent out this old theater, The Egyptian, and I just uh, tell people where the tickets are hidden through via, you know, via Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, and I hide tickets, you know, last time I did some tickets in uh, the chip aisle where Funyuns were. And then people would post photos of like the entire place destroyed, you know? It's like, <laughs> oh no, what did I do? <laughs> so I decided not to do that this time around. Uh -huh. um, so I, I, you know, I had to have people hiding in uh, like a giant crowd outside the Capitol with bags of Funyuns. And I would just say, steal a bag of Funyuns and, you know, get a couple tickets. Um, but I mean, I would place them all over the all over the. Funyuns city. being something that was uh, favored of Jesse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse loved Funyuns. And then the Boise Police Department yeah. was forced to tweet. Yeah, yeah. We understand there's a big scavenger hunt going on downtown. We want everyone to have fun. We also want everyone to be safe and obey all traffic and pedestrians. <laughs> you, had, you, you honestly have no idea how how crazy it was. I mean, it was like <laughs> a thousand plus people running all over the place. I saw this poor, like, 16-year-old girl just out of breath at so many locations. And I just might pull the car over, and she's just panting, and I wave at her, and she gets on her, like, little bird scooter, and she starts chasing after me, but she gets too excited, and she just falls and does a tumble. <laughs> I'm like, she's going to break her arm, yeah. you know? But I gave her a couple tickets. <laughs> <laughs> you are, yeah. And are people just chasing you all people over town? Are, yeah, people are chasing me all over the town. There's this girl that came running up. So I would stop and... Um, pull the car over and I would hand uh, out uh, like, you know, 10 pairs of tickets. And there's this one girl as we were pulling out and she like slams on the window. She's like, please, one more. I'm like, no, you got to go to the next location. I'm sorry. She's like, I will get Pinkman tattooed on my lip if I get tickets. And I roll down the window and I say, what did you just say? <laughs> and she's like, I will get Pinkman tattooed on my lip. And so I'm like, well, yeah, of course. So I give her tickets. And then as I'm walking into the theater, She's waiting for me, and she shows me her lip, and she got Pinkman tattooed oh, on her. She said she was gonna. Of course, so yeah, you have did. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. Bad. That's. I. I have. A, do you want to see it? Oh yeah. I, 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 have a, I have to show you a photo. I would love to see it. Um, <laughs> okay. So you, got, you got a picture yeah, of your got, baby, yeah, and you that, got a picture yeah. of. Okay, let me hold her right here. You zoom in right yeah, there. there. Oh my God. Yeah, there's her. But look, look at. Yeah. yeah. That's I mean, oh, look at this. And in the screening, I go, hey, I have some free posters. Who wants, does anyone have a Breaking Bad tattoo? Look at this guy. This guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, and so I'm like, wow. well, there's plenty of room for you to get Jesse on your stomach. Yeah, sure. And he's going to do it. Well, of course he, he is. He's going to do it. Um, so I'll show you when he has it done. Well, but, you yeah. must be very proud. <laughs> I mean, she has that forever. How is it possible that you guys shot this whole movie without anybody knowing what you were doing? I have no idea. You shot it in Albuquerque. Yeah. Where's, where's where you shot the series. Yeah. And no one in the... T are they that meffed out that nobody... <laughs> nobody no noticed that you guys were shooting a movie? How long did you shoot? Uh, three months. Three months? Yeah. Three and months. no one put two and no. two together. No, people would come up to me. I mean, I was, you know, on set pretty much every day. But on the weekends, people would come up to me and, you know, ask for photos or autographs. And they're like, what are you doing here? And I just said, you know, I'm doing a little small passion project. They're like, oh, cool. That's it? Yeah, that's it. I mean, maybe a couple people would be like, nah, you're doing better call Saul. I go, ah. no, they're on hiatus. We're using their, you know, no. I mean, we we're using their same crew. I didn't tell them that, but yeah, we're on, we're on hiatus. And, and then that, they're like, I buy it. Yeah. 
Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You'd think they'd be a little bit more inquisitive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whose yeah. idea was it to? Is this something that you and Vince Gilligan, the genius creator of Breaking Bad, decided uh, to do uh, together? Let's Vince Gilligan. Yeah. My God. You know he he uh, he called me. I guess it's been a, a couple years now, and uh, we were talking about. Uh, some fun things we were going to do surrounding the 10-year anniversary of Breaking Bad, which is just so crazy to think about. But um, oh. at the end of the call, he's like, I have this idea I want to run, run by you. He's like, what are your thoughts on maybe jumping into Jesse Pinkman again? I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, well, there's just this idea that I can't stop thinking about, but I only want to do it if it's perfect. I go, I mean... Vince, I would follow you into a fire. What, you know, of course, I trust you. And he's like, all right, well, let me write the script. I'll get back to you. About seven months down the road, he gives me a call. He's like, I'm done, um, and I think it's pretty damn good. <laughs> and the thing is with Vince, I mean, he has a legacy to uphold, right? Yeah, so I know, he, because the ending of that show, I mean, the show itself, yeah. one of the greatest of all time, the ending, one of the greatest of all time, yeah. was like, it was perfect. It, it, it really... You can only damage it. Right, it really... It, <laughs> But, but, if you trusted Vince throughout that entire series, you should absolutely of trust course. him in this film. Yeah. And uh, he's the last person that wants to mess with this legacy, and he absolutely crushed it. Well, when we come back, we're going to yeah. see an exclusive, never before seen, except for those people in Boise, clip from El Camino. We'll be right back with Aaron Paul. Dude, you lost? Who is it? Jesse? Who is it? I gotta get that car off the street. That is a Harry, Jesse Pinkman in El Camino. Which is interesting, and it's streaming on uh, Netflix yeah. and in, in select in theaters, movie yeah. theaters as well. Yeah. Netflix is really where, it's funny because the show wasn't on Netflix, but then people caught up to it I on, mean, it was crazy. They dropped three seasons on Netflix just before we aired the fourth season, and my life completely changed. Suddenly, it became exponential, the number of people who were watching It was the insane, show. Yeah. yeah. Now, Skinny Pete and Badger are funny. Is there comedy in the movie? In true Breaking Bad fashion, you find yourself laughing at such inappropriate moments. Uh huh. <laughs> you know, um, and so yeah, there is a, there is quite a bit of humor in it. I'm so interested in the whole thing, even just the fact that Jesse stayed in Albuquerque. He stayed yeah. there. Yeah, he loves it. <laughs> it's treated him well, you know. Um, ABQ. <laughs> How's the baby, by the way? Oh my God! You were about last time you were here. You were about to have a baby. Yeah. Your wife was, and you yeah. did. You had a baby. Yeah. Twenty months. Twenty. Twenty months old. Yeah, story. Her name's Story. Um, Twenty months old, and it's the. I mean, you know, uh, becoming a parent is the greatest gift that you could ever receive. Yes, it is, yeah, next to a bicycle. <laughs> yeah. When you get a bicycle and you're like I 10 mean, years old. bikes are pretty great. Yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> were you, did you, I know you were thinking about a doula at yeah. that time. Yeah, and get you the know, doula? I remember you, you, were, you were saying, they just get in your way, and my God, do they. The doula, yeah. The doula, I'm like, I'm trying to go and hug my wife, and she's like, no, no, no. <laughs> I got this. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, we had a doula. I mean, she was a sweetheart. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I, you, you know, I kind of wanted to. Did you hold it together? Were you able to? Uh, did you pass out? Or I, no, or I was. I was there, front and center. And I mean, my God, women. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my God, what you go through. <laughs> Wow. It really is. I mean, home. I was there. You know, I was there. I brought the baby out. I brought her out, and I, I, I gave her to my wife, and I just broke down crying. Did you yeah. do the thing where you take your shirt off and yeah, put, of course. put her yeah, on yeah, your yeah. body yeah, and all that beautiful. stuff? Yeah, the skin to skin. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah all right. Beautiful. Well, good. Well, things yeah. are going all right, huh? I can't wait to see this movie. Yeah, You man. guys better not screw this up. <laughs> hey, 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 let me tell you. I promise you, I promise you, you all will absolutely. Love I believe it. it. I mean, yeah. if, who, if we cannot have faith in you and Vince Gilligan, I mean, in whom can we? Aaron yeah. Paul, everybody, <laughs> go see El Camino. Go 
just stay home and watch it on Netflix. It's stream Friday. Thanks to Howard Stern. Thanks, Aaron. Apologies to Matt Damon. Nightline is next. Thanks for watching. Good night. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. An evil wizard has trapped me inside this YouTube video. Click subscribe to help me escape.